So let us look at 20 now, 2021, 20, paper 1. Uh, this is GCE. Okay? It's saying uh, in the diagram, A, B, C, and D are points on the circumference of the circle. Now, the center of the circle is what? Oh, okay? Such that angle A, sorry, angle D, A, B is equal to 36. So, angle uh, D, A, B is 36, that's given. Then, the line uh, B, C is equal to C, D. So, I uh, take note, uh, B, C is equal to what? C, D. These two are equal only about these arcs, okay? For these bars. They are very, very important. So these two are what? These two are equal. And EBF, EBF, this one is tangent, okay? So no wonder they are saying uh, EBF, EBF is a tangent to the circle. So this uh, EBF it is a tangent to this circle and it touches at which point? So it touches only a single point of a circle, which is point what? Point B, okay? So EBF is a tangent to this circle. Touching at the circle at point B. Then question 8 says find angle BOD. Find angle a BOD. This angle. This is the angle we want. Angle BOD. This one is simple. Okay. We know that uh, this is the angle at the center and you have the angle in the circumference. So if you want to find the angle at the center, you multiply. A two multiplied by the angle on the right on the circumference. That is, if we are told, like in this case, we are told to find this angle, which is angle B O D. We are told to find this angle B O D, which is the angle at the center. We know that if this is uh, if this is two x, this one becomes what x. Are we together? So since we know that uh, this is uh, 36, so for us to find this angle. Just say 2 times what is x? 36. 2 times 36 to get this angle. Okay? So what I'm saying is, let me ask for saying A. So for saying A, they are saying angle, find angle B, O, D. So this is the angle at the center, which is twice the angle in the circumference. Okay? So it just say this one is what? Just say uh, it's 2 what? 2x. Okay? So what is our x? So 2 times x. What is our x? x is the same, so it's 36. So 2 times 36. Okay? 2 times 36, you get what? You get 72. 70, 72. Okay? So this is our angle. Uh, B, O, D. Okay? This is angle uh, what? Uh, B, O, D. The angle at the center is twice the angle in the circumference. So we can just go direct. Even if you don't like to say uh, BOD is equal to 2x, just say BOD is equal to 2 times the angle in the circumference, which is 36, which you get what? Get what? Uh, 70, 72. Now, let us look at question B. Question B is saying uh, find angle BCD. Angle BCD. This is the angle they want us to calculate. Find this angle. Angle. B, C, D. Okay? Now you guys remember what I said uh, earlier on? The time I was uh, delivering something pertaining to uh, the properties related to uh, the circle. I said, uh, look at this case. In this case, we have been told to say uh, in the diagram below, A, B, C, and D are on the circumference of the word circle. So A, B, C, and D. These, they form uh, what we call a cyclic quadrature. Since these four points, they touch uh, a circle, uh, so they touch uh, they touch the four parts of a circle. Okay, these four points they form what to call a cyclic quadrature. Okay, so the cyclic quadrature form it looks like this. So we have a situation like this. Okay, this is our cyclic quadrature formed by the four points, which is A, B, C, and D. Okay, this is the cyclic quadrature form. Take note. So this is our our B. Uh, this is our C. And uh, this is our D. And this is our this is our A. Okay. And remember what I said. We said our opposite angles. 
Opposite angles of the cyclic quadrilateral are sublimated that they add up to 180. So meaning this angle plus this angle is equal to 180. So this angle is 36. Okay? So for us to know this angle, it's very, very simple. We just say, uh, let us find this angle, just this angle, just say this angle. Uh, B, C, D is equal to 180 degrees minus this angle, which is 30. 36. Okay, so 180 minus 36, we get what? To get uh, 140, 144. So this is our answer. So this one is what? 140, 144. This is our answer. So vector opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplemented, add up to 180. So since out of 180, we have 36. So we can easily find this angle. Just say 180 minus the angle given, the opposite angle given to the angle we want. Okay? So 180 minus 36, we get 144 as the angle B, C, D. Okay? Let us now look at uh, the last question, which is angle C, B, F. Angle C, what is C? Sorry, sorry, okay? Uh, C, B, F. They want to put uh, an angle here, okay? Okay, I'll just try to state it. Okay? There is an angle they want this one. C, this one. C, B, F, this angle. This is the angle they want. Okay? C, B, F. Okay? Now, for us to find C, C, B, F, what can help us is uh, maybe to come up with a line which is not given. And imagine a line in this case. Just come up with a line like this. Just come up with a line like this. You can come up with a line like this. Okay? See? So, having done that, you realize this is our center, center of the circle, and any line which uh, comes from the center of the circle and touches the circumference, it's a radius. So this is radius, and this whole digit is also a radius, because it's coming from the center, touching the circumference. So this one and this one are equal. Okay? Hence, the triangle formed is what? Is an isosceles triangle. So it's like we have an isosceles triangle like this, people. This isosceles triangle. Where we are saying this is O and this is a radius because it comes from the center, touching the circumference. And then this is a B, point B, and we have point D. Okay? So these are equal. Why are they equal? Because this one is a radius and this one is what? It's a radius. So this one is R, right? So it's also R. And we know that the angle at the center is what? It's 70. 72, okay? This is the angle, we calculated this one, 72. So we can easily find these uh, base angles, okay? Now, how do we find these base angles? We know that uh, the base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. So this angle is equal to this angle. So if this is x, this is also at x. So how do we find x? So we can find x and by saying, we know angles formed in a triangle are up to 180. The sum of interior angles of a triangle add up to 180. So we can easily uh, find x by saying x, this angle, plus x, this angle, plus 72, this angle, is equal to 180 degrees. Okay? So x plus x, we get 2, 2x plus 70, 2 is equal to 180 degrees. Okay? Then you can now correct like terms and say, 2x is equal to 180 degrees. When transpose this positive 72 on the other side, you're going to have uh, minus 72, negative 72. So 2x is equal to, now you can subtract uh, 180 minus 72, what do you get? What do you get? So 0 minus 2, you can get 1. This one is what? A 7, then this one becomes 10. 10 minus 2, you get what? 8. 7 minus 7 get what? 0. 1 minus 0 get 1. So we have 108. So 108. Okay? Then for us to remain with x, it say divide both sides by 2. Inside by what? 2. And say this are going to go. x is equal to 2 into 108 get 50. Uh, 54. So the base angles are equal to what? 54. So this is 54. This is also 20. 54. 54 plus 54, we get what? 108. 108 
plus 72 get 180, which is the sum of interior angles of the triangle. Okay, now this is not our answer. So we are saying this angle, guys, this angle is 50, it is 54 degrees. Even this angle, since the base angle is, is equal to 20, 54. Okay, and this is a we to take note. Okay, now we can now find this angle. We can also find this angle, this angle. Now this angle, we already know it's what? It's 144. This angle is 144, which makes our 